Hi, this is Ahmed with you from Mudir. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. In this video, we're going to learn about the updated opening balance workflow. Previously, we used to enter the opening balances from within each object or entity. For example, when entering the opening balance for the inventory items, we had to do that from within each and every inventory item. This process was changed. Recently, journal entries have been updated to enable using them to enter opening balances. This simplified the process as we will see shortly. Let's start entering some opening balances. In order to start, you might want to set up the chart of accounts, the customers, the suppliers, and the inventory items. We're not going to do that in this video, but I provided the links to the videos that teach you just that in the description. First thing we need to do is to have an opening balance sheet. We can get that from our accounting records. And we will also create a balance sheet report in Manager to track our process throughout the process. Let's create our opening balance sheet report by going to Reports and then Balance Sheet. Then click on New Report. And you should be careful when you are creating that kind of report because you can create a report but later when you are going back to it you don't know if this is relating to what you need so that's why you need to give the report a name now after having a name you should be careful about the starting date because if you are going to do the starting date you should take into consideration that the opening balance should be at least one day before the balance sheet Let's say that we starting using Manager since 1st of Jan 2024. This means that all of our starting balances should be before that. That's why I'm going to choose 31st of December 2023 as my date of my opening balance so we don't end up mixing our starting balance with whatever transactions that come after that. If you want to learn more on Balance Sheet Report, I've provided a link in the description. For the purposes of setting our opening balance, we don't care about the profit and loss before our starting date. That's why we're going to skip profit and loss accounts and use retained earnings instead. And that's going to be our clearing account throughout this process. Now we have filled the most important fields, which is the title and the date. The title reflects the description of the report, so we will not gonna miss it out with another reports. Scroll down, click on create. Now we've got the report, which is opening balance sheet of 2024, as at 1st of Jan 2024. All the account balances now are zeros. Now we're going to start making the transactions, so we're going to fill the opening balances for now. Now we are going to the summary page to show you these examples. We are going to make a sales invoice. Click on sales invoice, then click on new sales invoice. Now we're making a transaction as an opening transaction, and we're going to show you. Now as you notice, we will going to create a sales invoice opening balance which is the day before the beginning of the tax year, which is 31st of December, 2023. We've got the description as the entire opening balance on 1st of Jan, 2024. We've got the account here, which is retained earnings. And we're going to fill the other information. For example, the opening balance is 150. Scroll down, click on create. So we've got the opening balance for 1st of Jan 2024, backed by the return earnings, which is 150. We're going to do the same for the other examples, for the purchase and the journal entries. Moving on to purchase invoices, click on new purchase invoice, 
and do the same as the sales invoice. Now we filled all the necessary information, which is the date, at least one day before the uh, beginning of the tax year, the supplier name. The description should be saying that opening balance on 1st of Jan 2024 and the account is retained earnings and the amount, of course. Scroll down, click on create. Now we have created an opening balance purchase invoice, which is backed by retained earnings. Also, we're going to do the same thing for the journal entries. Click on new journal entry. Now the journal entry is a little bit different than the purchase invoice and the sales invoice because it's having a debit and credit side. For example, the cash and cash equivalents, which is the ABCD bank balance, which is 3000 usually the cash is in the debit side and also the petty cash. If otherwise, you can put it as credit. The prepayments also are part of the current assets and the current status for them are the debit side. The business loan is in the credit side because the liabilities are usually in the credit side. Now we are going to put whatever balancing figures in retained earnings. We can do it in the hard way and calculate it in our sales or we can simply copy the balancing figures manager provides us right after the lines. The out of balance field has been disappeared. Now both sides are balanced, as you can see. Scroll down, click on create. After creating these transactions, we can go back to the report to see the updates in the opening balance sheet report. Go back to reports, then balance sheet again, then click on view. Now we've got the updated opening balance sheet. Scroll down to see all the figures which are updated, which represents the accounts that we've created. And that's how we can create the opening balances in Manager. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. And before we're saying goodbye, we're pleased to announce that we are now officially the resellers of Manager Cloud. You can have a free trail of Manager Cloud through the link in the description below. This is Ahmed with you from Mudir. Thanks for tuning in. Have a nice and productive day.